Hey, hi, welcome back to the series of automotive sessions. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your automotive expert. So today's topic is FTA, that is faulty analysis. So I gave examples uh, also in this session. So let us proceed in further more slides. What is this faulty analysis? Faulty analysis or FTA is a top-down approach which displays the interrelationship between events and its associated causes with the help of logical gates. So it is a Boolean oriented technique which is a combination of true or false and one of the directive analysis methods. The main elements of the fault analysis are events and logical gates. Events here it is represented here like uh, a circle, rectangle, uh, rhombus and triangle. Uh, so, we will have top event and intermediate event both together. It is represented as a tri as a rectangle here. So, uh, top event is a top fault like where we need to write the description and we need to further analyze to find out an RCA to find out the probability of occurrence kind of. So, what about the intermediate event? Intermediate event is in between um, in between the top and basic events. So, uh, the next thing is undeveloped event. Undeveloped event is represented as a rhombus. So, where uh, we don't have enough uh, data to come up with the root cause for that event or we have a money concern like to dig out further in that particular case or something like that. So, the basic event is the bottom most event which is represented as a circle or the ellipse here. So, uh, where we need to write down uh, the description of the basic event and triangle is a transfer so to be continued in the next phase kind of uh, so we have or gate and and gate so which will be further explained in further slides so when do we do fda a hazard analysis formally pointed to a safety concern so we have already uh, a pre-conducted hazard analysis and uh, we have a uh, safety concern there we have an identified safety concern there or in case of new designs or if for the existing design if you have any changes due to uh, past failure uses of new environment or addition of operation mode without change in actual design and uh, safety for safety oriented analysis or analysis of safety concern by using this FTA, we will have two outcomes. So, uh, one is quantitative, the other one is qualitative outcome. So, what about quantitative? Quantitative, you will have a probability of occurrence of the top event, uh, top event, and you can even estimate it in your project. So, what about qualitative? Qualitative, you will since you the FTA is a pictorial format uh, thing like you will have a failure path uh, in detail so and you will have a root cause analysis done and you weak areas you can identify weak areas of the system or the product also steps to do fault reanalysis first of all we need to define the problem system and boundary conditions of the analysis like till what extent we can go ahead with this analysis so then we need to write down the top top level event and we need to identify the causes for the top level event and we need to write down the next level events which is called intermediate events or we can even get a basic event out of it. So uh, the next thing is we need to identify the root cause for the intermediate events and we need to identify the probability of occurrence of these events. So the top event and even uh, the intermediate events. So we need to analyze the root cause and we need to um, document this entire FTA or the faulty analysis with the mitigation plan for the identified risks. Benefits of FTA, a picture speaks more than thousand words. So here we can see the representation and we can identify which is the most probable problemistic event. And the next, second thing is like we need, we can easily, uh, this is a deductive approach. Since this is a deductive approach, like uh, it will help a team to focus on failures of each and every event by concentrating on 
on that particular event itself. So team can use 5 analysis to come up with causes or the root cause. So we can identify major contributor of the problem. So by by looking at the density of the um, of the uh, of uh, the further events, like uh, how many events it caused that particular uh, intermediate event or the top event. Uh, so how many basic events kind of. So and the next thing is like focuses on failure modes one at a time or in sequential two. It is since it is a sequential approach like uh, the team can focus on that particular event and they can come up with the with further more causes and then they can go for, go ahead with the next thing. So expose system behavior and possible interactions. So and it also include a room for human error uh, as a category of the root cause like fishbone analysis of the Ishikawa diagram. Here is an example for FTA or the faulty analysis. So first, in first diagram, so we have represented R gate here. Uh, R means any one of these events, one, two, three. Uh, if it occurs, then it is sufficient to cause the top event. So the second condition is uh, AND gate, that is all events to occur together at the same time or simultaneously to cause the top event. That means four and five and six all together should happen at once. Then only the top event will happen. So uh, here is another third one as an example. Uh, so the car hits a wall is the top event. Okay. Then we have an AND, and gate we have two different events here as an intermediate event so that is driver did not see the wall and driver did not apply the brake so here since we have an and gate both should happen together simultaneously and uh, driver did not see the wall for that intermediate event we have or gate x or y should happen then only uh, this intermediate event driver did not see the wall will happen so what about the next thing driver did not apply brake so that is another intermediate event which is represented at the end gate of a and b that means a and b should happen together simultaneously to cause uh, driver did not apply brake intermediate event so hope you understand this concept so if you like this concept click on the like button if you want further more automotive videos subscribe to my channel thank you